What is going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Why You Should Love with me, the Lonesome Rabbidor. Today I'm telling you why you should love Necroscope86. Now Necro is a favourite YouTuber of mine for many different reasons and today I'll be showing you why you should love him. Anyway, let's start with point number one. Necro is definitely one of the kind of guys I definitely look forward to when he uploads. He always uploads brand new stuff, well not always brand new stuff, but different stuff which I've never normally heard of. Or definitely never seen uh, walkthroughs for, so it's always an interesting thing to be subscribed to, as it, he keeps you up to well, not even up to date. Sometimes he does know newer games, sometimes it's older games. A lot of the time it's older games, but I mean that's quite cool because it introduces you to something new altogether. But when I say new, I don't mean something new as in brand new. I mean more as in new as in I said new quite a few times there. <laughs> I mean new as in something which we've not heard of before, and it's quite cool and quite nifty. I mean he played Power Rangers with one of his friends at one point, which is quite cool. I enjoyed that let's play quite a lot. But anyway, let's move on to my second point. Necro is definitely one of the funny guys, which I always find very easy to listen to. He's pretty he's pretty entertaining most of the time, and he always moves on to cool conversations, and he always keeps up a good uh, topic going while well, most of the way through. Always, always aiming on the on the game, obviously. Uh, you know, he, he makes very relatable and funny jokes in which he makes references to other stuff, and uh, he's always taking the mick out of games if they're quite funny at points. And his voice is definitely very easy to listen to as well. Very calm, very soothing, and definitely not anything which you find annoying at all. Very good videos to kick back and relax and watch uh, watch the videos while you're sitting there with a cup of tea or something to eat and just relax. Just watch the videos and just chill, you know, take your time with the videos. Anyway, let's move on to my point number three. As I said before, Necro does enjoy playing his older games and that really does show how diverse Necro can be. I often say this about other YouTubers, how they are quite diverse in the kind of games they play, not always just simply saying, I'll play this kind of game. Necro also does the same, but Necro goes for a different kind of diversity in a sense. He normally goes for age diversity, I guess, so he often goes for like very old games or I like slightly newer games, but when I say slightly newer, I think the newest one I've seen him play, personally, I haven't seen all his videos, don't get me wrong, was probably Silent Hill 4, even then that's not that new, but you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's newer games, but I mean, not like, not like, he's done always stick with like Pac-Man, for example, I don't think he ever, don't think he ever done Pac-Man, but you know what I mean, for example, uh, you know what I mean, it doesn't always go for the ancient stuff. Anyway, um, let's move on to point number four. When it comes down to Necro, Necro is definitely someone who loves to be social, especially around the YouTube area. He's recently played quite a lot with Yami Mash, Minx, uh, Markiplier, uh, LD Shadow Lady, DLive, Doom, and many other YouTubers too. He certainly has enjoyed playing alongside these people, and he definitely does make a good, like, uh, definitely a good part of every single Let's Play which I've seen with him in so far. Like the way he's played a couple of Gmod maps with Yami, and uh, he's often done quite a lot of uh, Gary's Mod uh, prop hunt with the other guys and murder and all that stuff. It's quite cool. He is a fantastic YouTuber in that way and sense that he's very willing to be very social with other YouTubers altogether. So, you know. Anyway, let's move on to my fifth and final point. So Necro really is kind of a very natural, kind of very friendly person when it comes down to people. As I said before, very social amongst the YouTube people, but he's also just actually very... When you listen to his uh, videos and stuff like that and the way he talks about his daughter and um, his family and friends, uh, he really does kind of like... It makes you think that he'd make a very good friend altogether and like a very friendly person altogether. And I imagine he is in real life. Obviously, I can't say I've ever met him, but still, he's, he does seem like a very, very kind person to ever meet in the future and stuff like that. So, you know what I mean. Anyway, that's about it from me, ladies and gentlemen. I've been Lost from Avatar, and you guys have been beautiful as per ever. Hope you have enjoyed this Necroscope 86, Why You Should Love. And um, yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy me next week for the next episode of Why You Should Love. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, once again, I've been Lost from Avatar, and once again, you guys have been oh so beautiful. And I will see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next one, ladies and gentlemen. Goodbye. Bye, watch out!